Hello nursery, well done for a fantastic week of learning. Now I've got a story to read you. It's called Oliver's Wood by Sue Hendra. When night falls and the moon and the twinkly stars come out, Oliver wakes up in his wood. To it, to woo, he calls. The spiky hedgehogs and the stripy badgers wake up in the wood too. Sniffle, sniffle. They are Oliver's friends. So are the batty bats. Oliver loves to fly around with them in the wood. Whiz, whiz. Oliver and his friends play all night long. Then, when the moon and the twinkly stars go dim, they go to sleep. One night, Oliver stayed up late. He saw the moon and the twinkly stars grow dim. And then he saw something that he had never seen before. The big, round, warm orange sun. Wow! Oliver was very excited. He went to tell the spiky hedgehogs and the stripy badgers. But instead, there were rabbits and squirrels. Hippity hop went the rabbits. Skitter scatter went the squirrels. They didn't talk to Oliver. Oliver went to tell the batty bats, but instead there were butterflies. Look at the sun, said Oliver, but the butterflies flew away. Flutter, flutter. Oliver felt very lonely. He flew back to his branch. He wished he could tell someone about the sun. Oliver lay down on his branch and he slept. Night time fell and Oliver's friends came out to play in the wood. Wake up, lazy bones, they shouted. When Oliver opened his eyes and saw all of his friends, he felt very happy. Guess what, he called. I saw the big, round, warm, orange sun. Wow, said the prickly hedgehogs and the stripy badgers. Wee, said the batty bats. And to wit, to woo, hooted Oliver. The end. Wow, that's a brilliant story. If you only wake up in the night time, you don't get to see the daytime. So the owl got to see the sunshine for the very first time. What a wonderful surprise. Well done, everyone. I will see you again for our new topic next week. Bye.